So, <laughs> ha, so to explain it, I'm going to use Back to the Future as an example of Jin Particle. Shout out to my guy, Neil deGrasse Tyson, with my other guy, Lord Chuck Nice, who explained Jin Particles twice. That's to show you how much I watch Star Talk. <laughs> Your favorite. Anyway. Um, a gin particle, the gin particle example I'm going to give you is from Back to the Future. But that what you just said with the flying car could be another gin particle in Back to the Future. A gin particle is where something is invented in a time, in a loop. So in the first Back to the Future, when um, Johnny B. Good, I think is the name of the song, mm-hmm. when Marty go, goes on stage and he starts playing the song on the guitar, and then Chuck Berry's cousin, I forgot his name, calls him up like, Chuck, listen to this. And then Chuck Berry makes the song Johnny Be Good. I uh, plays the song Johnny Be Good, even though Marty um, Marty played it first in the movie, but Chuck Berry's who invented it in real life. But Chuck heard it from Marty, and then Chuck then Chuck made it, and it loops back around. So no one knows who actually made it. That's what's called a gin particle. Now, what you just said, Jay, about the car, that could actually be another gin particle. That's why you don't see it in today's day, time and day with in the 2000s with the flying cars. Uh-huh. What we need to do is make a damn gin particle out of groceries. Because <laughs> what the hell happened? 